Here is your tea. You seem a little too young to be traveling alone. You seem a little too old. <laughs> Perhaps I am. I know what you're thinking. I look like I can't handle being by myself. I wasn't thinking that. You wouldn't even let me pour my own cup of tea. I poured your tea because I wanted to, and for no other reason. People see me and think I'm weak. They want to take care of me, but I can take care of myself by myself. You sound like my nephew, always thinking you need to do things on your own without anyone's support. There is nothing wrong with letting people who love you help you. Not that I love you, I just met you. <laughs> so, where is your nephew? I've been tracking him, actually. Is he lost? Yes, a little bit. His life has recently changed, and he's going through very difficult times. He's trying to figure out who he is, and he went away. So, now you're following him. I know he doesn't want me around right now, but if he needs me, I'll be there. Your nephew is very lucky, even if he doesn't know it. Thank you. My pleasure. Sharing tea with a fascinating stranger is one of life's true delights. No, thank you for what you said. It helped me. I'm glad. Oh, and about your nephew? Maybe you should tell him that you need him, too. Ty Lee, could that possibly be you? Azula! It is so good to see you. Please, don't let me interrupt your whatever it is you were doing. Tell me. What is the daughter of a nobleman doing here? Certainly our parents didn't send us to the Royal Fire Academy for girls to end up in places like this. I have a proposition for you. I'm hunting a traitor. You remember my old fuddy-duddy uncle, don't you? Oh, yeah. He was so funny. I would be honored if you would join me on my mission. Oh, I, uh, would love to. But the truth is, I'm really happy here. I mean, my aura has never been pinker. I'll take your word for it. Well, I wouldn't want you to give up the life you love just to please me. Thank you, Azula. Of course, before I leave, I'm going to catch your show. <gasps> uh, yeah, sure, uh, of course. Set the net on fire. Of course, princess. Brilliant. Oh, what kind of dangerous animals do you have? Well, our circus boasts the most exotic assortment of... Release them all! Okay, found him! Bring him to me! Daddy wants a kiss from Flopsy! Come here, Flopsy! <laughs> 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 So, let me guess. You brought me out here to tell me your sister's not as annoying as I make her out to be? Nah, she's pretty much a pain. 
She's always got to be right about everything, and she gets all bossy and involved and in your business. Yeah, I don't know how you can deal with it. Actually, in a way, I rely on it. I don't understand. When our mom died, that was the hardest time in my life. Our family was a mess. But Katara, she had so much strength. She stepped up and took on so much responsibility. She helped fill the void that was left by our mom. I guess I never thought about that. I'm gonna tell you something crazy. I never told anyone this before. But honestly, I'm not sure I can remember what my mother looked like. It really seems like my whole life, Katara's been the one looking out for me. She's always been the one that's there. And now, when I try to remember my mom, Katara's is the only face I can picture. The truth is, sometimes Katara does act motherly. But that's not always a bad thing. She's compassionate and kind, and she actually cares about me. You know, the real me. That's more than my own mom. Don't ever tell her I said any of this. Hey, my lips are sealed. <gasps> Appa? Oh, no. It's gonna be okay, Appa. I have to leave, but I'm gonna be back soon with help. No sudden movements. He's been lost for a while, and he looks like he's hurt. He's shy around people and scared. Stay low and stay quiet. I can't believe you found the Avatar's bison. Didn't you just see the Avatar a few days ago? Yes, so he can't be too far from here. It's our responsibility to get Appa back to him safely. This could be our most important mission yet. <laughs> Give him some space! Appa, it's me, Suki. I'm a friend. I want to help you. You're hurt. We can help you feel better. And we can help you find Aang. Pretty clouds. Yeah, fluffy. What? What? Oh, I didn't say anything. You know, a friend of mine actually designed these war balloons. No kidding. Yep, a balloon, but for war. If there's one thing my dad's good at, it's war. Yeah, it seems to run in the family. Hey, hold on, not everyone in my family is like that. I know, I know, you've changed. I met my uncle. He was more of a father to me. And I really let him down. I think your uncle would be proud of you. Leaving your home to come help us? That's hard. It wasn't that hard. Really? You didn't leave behind anyone you cared about? Well, I did have a girlfriend. May. That gloomy girl who sighs a lot? Yeah. Everyone in the Fire Nation thinks I'm a traitor. I couldn't drag her into it. My first girlfriend turned into the moon. That's rough, buddy. Nyla! Who's my little, mmm, snuffly wuffly? Whoa! Careful there. Okay. So who's got something with the Avatar scent on it? I have Aang's staff. Well, what does that mean? It means your friend's gone. We know he's gone. That's why we're trying to find him. 
No, I mean, he's gone, gone. He doesn't exist. There's my favorite warriors. I have to admit, I kind of missed the face paint. So how's it feel to be back in uniform again? It feels great. Careful, Suki. Ty Lee's pretending to be a Kyoshi warrior again. It's okay. She's one of us now. <laughs> yeah, the girls and I really bonded in prison. And after a few chief walking lessons, they said I could join their group. We're gonna be best friends forever. Pretty good advice. And great tea. The key to both is proper aging. What's on your mind? Well, I met with this guru who was supposed to help me master the Avatar state and control this great power. But to do it, I had to let go of someone I love. And I just couldn't. Perfection and power are overrated. I think you are very wise to choose happiness and love. What happens if we can't save everyone and beat Azula? Without the Avatar State, what if I'm not powerful enough? I don't know the answer. Sometimes life is like this dark tunnel. You can't always see the light at the end of the tunnel. But if you just keep moving... You will come to a better place. Well, I'm exhausted. Hockey, how about you, buddy? Yeah, you're such a lazy little bird. Katara, I need your help. What is it, Toph? I need you to write some things down for me. I want to send a letter to my parents. I'll be happy to help. Where'd Hockey go? Who would have thought after all these years, I'd return to the scene of my greatest military disgrace? As a tourist. Look around. We're not tourists. We're refugees. <laughs> Ugh! I'm sick of eating rotten food, sleeping in the dirt. I'm tired of living like this. Aren't we all? My name's Jet, and these are my freedom fighters, Smellerby and Longshot. Hey. Hello. Here's the deal. I hear the captain's eating like a king while us refugees have to feed off his scraps. Doesn't seem fair, does it? What sort of king is he eating like? The fat, happy kind. You want to help us? Liberate some food? I'm in. Leave us alone. I never expected this from you. The thing I don't understand is why. Why would you do it? You know the consequences. 
I guess you just don't know people as well as you think you do. You miscalculated. I love Zuko more than I fear you. No, you miscalculated! You should have feared me more! Somewhere I'll never have to see their faces again and let them rot. Katara, are you okay? I'm doing fine. Zuko told me what you did, or what you didn't do, I guess. I'm proud of you. I wanted to do it. I wanted to take out all my anger at him, but I couldn't. I don't know if it's because I'm too weak to do it, or if it's because I'm strong enough not to. You did the right thing. Forgiveness is the first step you have to take to begin healing. But I didn't forgive him. I'll never forgive him. But I am ready to forgive you. It's easy. You just walk on your front paws instead of your rear ones. Like this. That is a nice trick. Just take the bear. Bosco! I can't believe a year ago my purpose in life was hunting you down. And now... And now we're friends. Yeah. We are friends. I can't believe a year ago I was still frozen in a block of ice. The world's so different now. And it's gonna be even more different. We'll rebuild it together. Today, this war is finally over. I promised my uncle that I would restore the honor of the Fire Nation, and I will. The road ahead of us is challenging. A hundred years of fighting has left the world scarred and divided. But with the Avatar's help, we can get it back on the right path and begin a new era of love and peace. All hail Fire Lord Zuko!